Hey guys, welcome back. Unfortunately for you guys, there is one more auto transformer, okay? And that is an open delta auto transformer. We had a single phase auto transformer. We had a Y connected auto transformer. Now we have an open delta auto transformer. Now there's no such thing as a closed delta auto transformer. Okay guys, because it just doesn't work. You need to have these tails out here. And if I had another winding in here, I wouldn't be able to have that, okay? So here it is, it's open delta, but it follows all the rules for open delta. And it also follows all the rules for, you know, auto or auto transformers. And so we're not gonna sweat it. We're gonna calculate one thing at a time. Okay guys, and uh, we're gonna do it carefully. It says here, Look, at E-line primary is 240. It says calculate the primary phase voltage. Well, this is a delta transformer. E-line is equal to E phase. So this is simply 240 volts, okay? If this is 240 from here to here, then it's gonna be 240 from here to here, okay? Calculate the secondary phase voltage. Well, there it is. It's delta. So it'll be the same as the line voltage, 220 volts, okay guys? The reason we're calculating that is because we need to be able to look at the actual windings. And the only way to get the actual windings, voltages, guys, is, you know, basically this, right? That way I can, you know, pretend it's single phase and figure out what's going on with that. All right, guys? So that's what we're going to do. So here, just to uh, keep it all going here, we just decided that uh, this was 240 volts. Okay, from here to here, and this was 220 volts. No, I'm going to do it over here, 220 volts from here to here. All right, and we'll forget about this one. Now we can look at that and figure out everything. Calculate the ratio. The ratio is going to be the high voltage over the low voltage every time. Okay, that'll work 100% of the time, 240 divided by 220 equals 1.09 1.091 to 1 okay calculate the primary line current we're going to do it exactly the way we've been always doing it it's going to be the secondary current 175 divided by the ratio okay that'll work for every kind of transformer single phase Y or open delta 175 divided by 1.091 equals looks like that current is 160 amps okay 160.4 amps and we're going to put that right on here uh, so that we can figure it out later let's do it right here 160.4 amps okay and this one right here is the 175 amps Okay, because that's the secondary line current. That's going to help us figure out what's going on. Calculate the current in the series winding. There's the series winding right there, that little guy, one bump, okay? And it has to be equal to the primary current because it always will be. It's always out here in series with the primary. So this is just 160.4 amps. Calculate the voltage across the series winding. There's the series winding. Kirchhoff's law. I've got 240 from here to here and 220 from here to here. How much is there? It's 20 volts. Okay, this is going to be 240 minus 220. 20 volts. All right. Calculate the current in the common winding. Kirchhoff's law. Okay, I've got 160 in, set 175 out. I'm asking about this current right here, the common current. It's going to be equal to 175 minus 160.4. All right, guys. 175 minus 160.4 equals 14.6 amps. Okay. Calculate the voltage across the common winding. Well, here's the common winding. What do you guys think it is? Eh? Eh? 220 volts. It really helps to draw it in there like that, okay? So we've calculated everything about this. Let's calculate the transformed KVA and also the KVA of the load. Now the transformed KVA, again, slightly different formula. For I here, the VA, it's going to be E series times I series times 2 because there are 2, okay? 
or the VA is going to be equal to E common times I common times two, because there are two. So very quickly, we're going to calculate that, guys. E series, let's find it. Okay, current voltage across the series winding, 20. I series, 160.4 times two. All right, let's do that. 20 times 160.4 times two, because there are only two windings in a delta, open delta. 6416 VA. Okay, VA of the common winding, which should be the same. It'll be E common. Looks like it's 220. I common. Where did I calculate that? 14.6 times 2. Okay. 220 times 14.6 times 2 equals. 6424VA, okay? And those are the same, and they should be, or close enough. A little bit of rounding, no big deal. Last question, guys. J, calculate the KVA, the load. I don't know anything about the, K, the load, but I know it's three-phase, so I'm going to calculate the E-line, I-line, root three. So the VA, of the load, will be E-line, 220, times I-line, 175 times root three, okay, because that's a three-phase load. 220 times 175 times root three. Six, 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 eight, four, VA, okay? And again, massive load made out of a tiny transformer. All right, guys? So, I know, I know. Is this hard, guys? I'm sure it is, okay? And it, you know how to learn it? Rewatch the first video, okay? If you have to, or, and or, no, not and or, and do your homework, okay? So your homework is unit four, handout 8B. Hey guys, bunch of auto transformers there for you to try. All right, guys, unit four, handout 8B. You know, have a good day. I hope this is going okay for you. Leave me a comment, okay? If you uh, send me a message, let me know how these videos are working out for you, okay, guys? And if I can do anything to improve them, let me know uh, what I need to know to make it better for you, okay? And come to the Zoom meetings if you need help uh, or email me, okay? Have a good day. Bye-bye.